thematically what the game is about is fear and as uh, Batman instills fear in his enemies he can beat them. His ability to beat up the guys is affected by how scared the guys are of him before he enters the scene. Oh okay so all about intimidation. You know what I want. The more he's intimidated the less Batman has to do. Uh, I like that yeah. If you know Christian Bale's work, I and mean, what's so great about him is he's just a spectacular actor. By the same token, he's got a big presence. So, tell me about the rabbits. Can you be more threatening? Tell me about the rabbits. You want Bruce Wayne as Bruce Wayne, and you want Bruce Wayne as Batman to also have a big presence. So, Christian Bale's perfect from that standpoint, and also we had a lot of spectacular actors besides Christian. Computers never came into my generation. I, my generation, I never had a television until I was 35. We have a computer in our house, and I know what it looks like, and I know which room it's in. I'm still trying to get email on, on mine. My wife has to do that. Well, I'm a big gamer, so it was a huge bonus of being involved in this. It's great because they actually take a while to kill, you know? The game looks fantastic. It looks awesome. It's very stark and very strong and very steely. The colors and the textures, the sort of atmosphere of the city was definitely there, and also Arkham, where most of my stuff takes place in the movie. It looks suitably terrifying. It was remarkably like the film. It looks like you could spend a lot of time playing around with that one. Now, who is that masked man? I wanted to thank him. Unlike the rest of them, it's not a superhero. Batman's a regular person who just happens to have skills. I was nearly killed by some maniac in black pajamas. I've never done a voiceover for a game before, but it's remarkably simple because I've already rehearsed this part for two and a half months on Batman. I've played the guy for so long, and you get the voice back immediately. If I may, sir, that sounds remarkably like a gas leak. A lot of the lines that we were doing today were lines from the movie, so you remember them. He's here. The bad man. The great thing is you don't have to lip sync to them. They lip sync to you, so that's, that's the good bit. I want my boat here, now. Get me the hell away from this disaster. If you're doing it in a film, you're matching it to your own lip movements. Please! Somebody! In a game, it's like inventing ink for the first time. Rachel can nail Falcone when I deliver him. I play Rachel Doss, and I'm um, sort of the love interest of Bruce Wayne, Batman. Don't mess with me. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. I work in the DA's office, and I follow Batman around. If there was, I would be there. I. It's more challenging sometimes to do voiceovers because you're not on the set and you have to do all the imagining by yourself and somebody's sort of telling you the situation and, okay, say this line. Did you give my message to Detective Gordon? <coughs> it was kind of exhausting. A lot of screaming and panting. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to play it properly. Finish it. Will you send me a game? Absolutely. So I, I can learn how to play it. I've got to get one of the things you play it on, haven't I? Right. I'm still trying to get my email. <laughs>